नमस्ते वेन वी डिस्कस सेल्फ एंक्वायरी वी आर टिपिकली टॉकिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ द सेल्फ विद कैपिटल एस और कॉन्शियसनेस ऑन द पाथ वेल वी आर यट स्टेशन बिफोर वी आर स्टेशन एस अ पार्ट ऑफ आर साधना यू कॉन्स्टेंटली थिंकिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ सींग वन सेल्फ एस कॉन्शियसनेस राधर दैन द पर्सनैलिटी एस अवेयरनेस राधर दैन द ईगो एस द ब्रह्मन राधर दैन द जीवात्मन इन दिस प्रोसेस वट हैपन्स इज दैट योर इंटेलेक्ट moves from what is called knowledge to wisdom it goes from what is called gyan to pragna but the intellect is occupied in this incessant identification or incessant reidentification from personality to consciousness you know you might actually fall out fall from grace and start considering yourself as somebody as a particular person x y z as a father as a son as a husband as a wife as a teacher as a citizen but you again and again reidentify yourself as consciousness which is inclusive of all these identities but it is beyond these identities it is a state of nobody and it is eventually a state of everybody so during this process there is constant cognitive reidentification and at a certain point this reidentification converts itself into a conviction that is when the sadhana has in some sense culminated there is a deep conviction that you are consciousness that you are operating as consciousness not as the limited entity that you consider yourself to be not as the person that you were named when you were born not as the person that the world recognizes you as but as that living robbing a consciousness that is at the heart of everything at the heart of your personality itself so once you reidentify yourself as this relatively more frequently once you are far more convinced that's when you say that you are enlightened or you are in self abidance or self absorption going forward the question arises that does the enlightened person or does the one who is self absorbed always remain in this awareness and keeps this reidentification or does he also become equally active in worldly life just like anybody else so in the zen uh, philosophy they call this the uh, there's a series of cards in the 10th card they say that the monk always returns to the marketplace the monk doesn't remain the monk the monk is a monk until the 9th stage you know and then beyond the ninth stage the monk comes back to the marketplace does business in the marketplace and you are not able to distinguish him from somebody else you know he just appears like any other lay person if you look at the stories of zen masters some zen master is an archer and another is a butcher and the third is a shopkeeper and uh, they all ordinary people one is a cook you know so they all ordinary people so when the enlightenment process culminates when you are deeply stationed in the self there comes a point when you return to the marketplace and you become simply ordinary you know there is a saying in buddhism where they say that prior to enlightenment mountains were mountains and rivers were rivers you know and then at one point mountains were no longer mountains and rivers were no longer rivers and then eventually mountains were once again mountains and rivers were once again rivers so in the language of uh, vedanta this is called sahaj samadhi you become sahaj once again you know in the language of self enquiry this is called the natural state you have once again become fully natural now how is this natural state different from absorption well this natural state is in some sense you know in a very uh, horizontal way it's in a some sense a small progression uh you know because everything is achieved in is self absorption but there is one small progression that this person once again becomes ordinary this person you know, who is enlightened uh once the journey culminates he is not so bothered about keeping his enlightenment alive he has become so natural that he is fully realized himself as consciousness and he 
once again allows consciousness to play whatever leela the consciousness wants to play in the world you know it may no longer be his mission to remain rooted in consciousness to close his eyes and you know meditate away into higher frequencies uh, nor necessarily operate from a state of love and service uh, in the world though all of this will happen from time to time he may just be okay to let consciousness do what it has to do and if consciousness has to once again make a archer or a cook or an entrepreneur or a professional whatever out of you it allows uh, you know this person this being this enlightened being allows consciousness to play its game without remaining overtly spiritual you know his spirituality no longer stands out like a sore thumb as they say in zen he just becomes an ordinary person who deep down knows his consciousness who is Uh, rooted himself in markers of self abidance like uh, peace and uh, love and joy and power but at the same time doesn't have to necessarily keep re identifying himself as consciousness others as consciousness the entire world as consciousness because he has gotten rooted in it and now he is happy to let go of it because this entire re identification and this conviction has become a part of his being you know it might take a while it might take a few years a few months a few decades to arrive there you know and sometimes one might just fool oneself that one has arrived there uh, so that with that caveat nevertheless that is where it culminates the, that is where the great masters arrive that uh, they are ready to uh, you know just quote and quote even give away their enlightenment in the sense that their spirituality no longer acts like a sore thumb they become highly ordinary they mix with everybody they appear like a lay person and they become one with life they become one with the world and uh, they become one with the universe in such a way that they come across as simpletons but at the same time they are deeply rooted this then is called sahaj samadhi or the natural state where there is complete embodiment you know your the enlightenment is no longer just a cognitive process of re identification of our self knowledge but there is complete embodiment of the concepts and return to the state of zero think about this one thank you